Hi everyone and welcome to Studio Hacks. In this video I'm going to show you where is the do not disturb on your iPhone. So I recently upgraded my iPhone to iOS 15 and I noticed that the standard do not disturb button wasn't there and there was something else in its place. Let's have a look at what it does. Okay, so when you swipe down from the top right hand corner to get the control center on the older iPhones, you will be swiping up from the bottom of the screen to get the control center. Um, I'm used to seeing just that little moon icon right there for the do not disturb. And if you are nimble enough to just tap directly on that moon, it will in fact just turn the do not disturb on. Um, but if we tap on where it says focus, you'll notice that we've got a lot of other options now in iOS 15. Let's have a quick look at what they do because some of them are quite handy. So under the Do Not Disturb, we've got these three buttons here. And these will give you what you used to get if you held your finger down on the Do Not Disturb button. So you can actually select Do Not Disturb for an hour, Do Not Disturb until this evening, or Do Not Disturb until I leave this location. So it'll actually track where you are. A little bit creepy if you ask me so they're they're quite simple i just usually have mine set to coming on at a certain time each day and i'll show you how to do that at the end of this video um, mine automatically switches on to do not disturb at seven o'clock at night and then it goes it goes back to normal at uh, 6 a.m in the morning so you can actually do uh, a few other things here so you there's options for personal work and sleep so under the personal, it says here, allow notifications from important people and apps and silence the rest across all devices. So this is a little bit different to the, the normal do not disturb. Let others, and it will also let others know you're away with a status that shows your notification. So you can add people who you allow notifications from. So you can do do not disturb, but you can let your wife, your mum, your dad, your best friend, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever it is, you can allow uh, calls just from a certain amount of people. And so we can add those here. So the work focus option has the same as the personal focus, but it's got a turn on automatically. So depending on which hours you work. So let's say uh, I would just, while I'm at work, I only allow uh, my wife Let's say while I'm at work, I only allow my wife to text me. We can also access this sort of menu here, but a bit more detailed by going to the settings. And then if you scroll down, you'll see there's this new focus bar here. So we can go in and see all the settings that we've got. So for my work one there, I can actually add a schedule. So if I was at a certain location or from a certain time, or when I open a certain app, it will, you know, activate. So I can actually set the location of my work. So when I'm there or near there, it'll have the do not disturb or the work focus mode active. And then I can set one up for sleep as well. So I can have uh, all sorts of things happen while I'm asleep and it can even connect to the sleep schedule app and things like that. So they've added a lot of extra uh, features with this focus, which you can really set up in a granular way, which is pretty cool. And you can share across devices as well. So if you've got like an iPad and other things like that, it will just, as long as they've got iOS 15, it'll share those settings with your other devices. So that's how you find the do not disturb. I was curious as to why it had changed and I saw that a lot of people online are asking where is do not disturb on my iPhone. It was even ended up on Google Trends here. Where is the do not disturb on the iPhone 13 for Google Trends worldwide in the last 90 days. So I hope you found that content valuable everybody. If you did make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.